Good morning, church family. A lot has happened since we met together last Sunday in response to the, the uh, coronavirus threat. Governor Cuomo has escalated restrictions statewide, banning all gatherings above 50 people. And the White House has urged the avoidance of, of uh, social gatherings above 10 people. So restaurants, gyms, theaters, and casinos have all closed down. Many people have been sent home from work. Uh, kids have been sent home from school. The list goes on and on. All of our lives have been affected by this. And in light of these developments, Niagara Alliance Church is postponing all of its on-site gatherings and activities until further notice. This includes the Sunday a.m. worship service, life hour, and Sunday evening breakout. <clears throat> also, this includes our International Workers' Conference, which was scheduled for March 27th through, through 29th. That is now postponed indefinitely. Many off-site activities are postponed until further notice as well, uh, and these are the NGRM ministry, the upcoming Paint Day fundraiser, and the Women's Spring Retreat. These have all been postponed. Now, in this time of emergency, it's essential to make necessary changes. We must do all that we can to keep both ourselves and our community safe. And I urge this church body to unite in prayer for each other, for our country, and for our nation's leadership in this difficult time. With all that said, however, it is equally important that we continue to grow in our relationship with God and in Christian community in this time of isolation. The onset of the, coronavi the uh, coronavirus has not removed this mandate from our lives. We still have a responsibility to do this. We still must find ways to adapt in the midst of this situation. To this end, Niagara Alliance Church will be taking the following measures while this facility is shut down. First, we will be supplying the church body with an online home worship service every week. This package will include a sermon complete with discussion questions, a worship set, and a children's lesson all in video format. It will be posted every Saturday evening on our website. Our website is www.niagaraalliance.com, and it will also appear on our YouTube channel, which is being set up now. This will allow your whole family to experience a part of Niagara Alliance Church in your homes on Sunday while the church facility and our normal way of worshiping on Sunday morning is shut down. Note that we're working on something for the youth as well, and it will be added on soon. And also note that we're working on a system for creating and distributing DVDs for those who do not have the means to stream this content online, and you can expect to hear more on that soon as well. Secondly, we will continue um, we will be continuing our church's small group ministry for as long as we can safely do so. <clears throat> We've um, We've already had several small groups actively meeting in this body. We've been having that going all year. We're going to keep these groups going and possibly add more groups for those who desire to participate and feel that they can do so with safety. For now, these groups will host two gatherings a week, not just one like before. Before we had one gathering a week, now they're going to have two, and these are what they're going to be. One will be a Sunday watch party. And this one is geared towards those who desire a corporate worship experience in place of the Sunday service. This meeting will interact together with the worship service posted online every week. The other will be a sermon-based discussion. This gathering is focused on digging deeper into the message and finding ways to apply the message to our lives using the discussion questions that are supplied with the sermon. Uh, this is how our small groups have been meeting right, al right along up to this crisis with the coronavirus. And so this meeting is going to be very similar to what we were doing before. We're basically just adding that, uh, that watch party service as well, <coughs> or gathering, I should say. Now, it's not necessary for you to attend both gatherings. Some may only desire to attend one of them, and some may not want to attend any of them, and that's fine. We'll talk more about that in a second. But you don't necessarily have to go to both. Also, it's possible that these two gatherings could merge into just one over time as this goes on, depending upon, upon how long this, this situation goes on for. Uh, but that process will look different from group to group, and we want to let the groups themselves decide how that is going to happen and what that's going to look like. Uh, they could merge over time, but we'll let the groups decide if they want to do that or not. 
Now, I want to be absolutely clear that safety is essential in these gatherings. And with this in mind, we are issuing the following guidelines for these small group gatherings. Firstly, do not exceed 10 people. Don't exceed 10. The White House suggestion is 10. It's a good suggestion. So keep it at 10, not 12, not 11. 10 is the max. If uh, we have more people interested than we do capacity to accommodate these people, then we, we will at leadership level just launch more groups and take care of them that way. But you guys that are already meeting, stay at 10. Do not exceed 10. Secondly, don't cross over from group to group. That is to say, don't go to one group's Sunday watch party and another group's sermon base discussion. Stay in your group. Do what your group is do doing. Why do we say this? We limit the spread of the virus by limiting who we come in contact with. More and more, you're going to see people keeping to themselves and staying in their homes and limiting the amount of people that they come in contact with. That's why so many things are shutting down right now. We help that by staying in the groups that we're in and not cross-pollinating any more than we need to. So stay in your group. Next, if you are sick for any reason, stay home, period. If you're sick, stay home. Now is not the time to suck it up. Now is not the time to push through when you don't feel well. Now is the time to stay home if you're sick. Next, don't eat together. Uh, eating is normally a big part of a small group gathering, but these are not normal times. So absolutely do not serve meals at these gatherings and limit snacks. I would personally recommend that you remove them entirely, uh, if at all possible. Fifth, limit physical contact. Uh, we've already been talking about this. We talked about this last Sunday, but don't hug, don't shake hands, etc. Uh, find alternate ways to greet during this time so that you can limit the spread of the virus. And lastly, increase sanitation. Wash your hands more, put on more hand sanitizer than you normally would. Uh, do these things more often than you would normally do them. And to the small group hosts, put extra effort into sanitizing uh, surfaces, doorknobs, armchairs, uh, excuse me, chair arms, light switches, keyboards, things like that. Uh, sanitize these things as much as you possibly can before the meeting and after the meeting to limit the spread. Again, small groups will continue to be available for the time being to, to those who are able to participate and are able to do so safely. If your age or health leaves you more vulnerable to the virus, then by all means stay home. Please feel free to stay home. Regardless of your age or your physical condition, you can be young and healthy. If you don't feel safe, then stay home. Feel free to do so. No one's going to fault you for this. You need to do what's right for you. We respect your decision. Do what you need to do for yourself right now. You know what's best for you. Follow the Lord's leading. We will respect that. The last measure that we're taking is that we're working on creative and understandable ways to gather online. <clears throat> there is already a lot of people who just can't risk coming out. We just talked about that. And for all we know, small groups may have to be completely shut down in the coming weeks, depending upon how things go. There's a lot of data out there saying that it's going to get a little worse before it starts to get better here. With this in mind, we're already talking about ways to provide the same small group opportunities that we just described, but without uh, physically gathering together. Um, and many of you know how this can happen. Many of you guys know about Zoom and Skype and things like that. We know about them too. We're talking about them. We're trying to figure out what, what way might work best for people in our body. And you can expect to hear more from us in the future about this as well. I want to close with some final requests for you. First, please remember Niagara Alliance Church with your giving during this restriction period. The shutdown of the church facility will lower our expenses by allowing us to cut back on our utilities greatly, and we're even going to be able to cut back on some staffing expenses during this time. But as you can see, by everything that I've just described before, the church itself is going to be continuing on, and in many cases, working harder in this period. With this in mind, we still have a lot of expenses, and we need your giving now just as much as we ever did. Now, even though we no longer have a Sunday service, there are multiple ways to contribute to, Ni to Niagara Alliance Church. Uh, you can give online on our website. Uh, again, that's www.niagaraalliance.com. Just click on the Donate Online link on the front page and follow the instructions from there, and you can donate that way. Uh, also, you can give your offering at a Sunday uh, small group watch party. 
uh, if you're attending one of those that we just described earlier. If you're there, you can give your offering there and the small group leader will collect them and he, will make, he or she will make sure that the uh, offering gets to the church. Lastly, you can just make out a check and you can mail it in and we'll still have people here to receive them and deposit them. Uh, if there's anything else that we can do to help accommodate your donation to our church, please let us know. We're here to serve and we appreciate it so much. Uh, and thank you again. Secondly, uh, our second request is let us know if you want to be in a small group. Uh, contact Pastor Mark, contact Stephanie in the church office, uh, and they will pass along the info. We will make sure that their, uh, their contact info is on the email version of this and post it online in some way. We'll get the information disseminated to you, but please contact us if you want to be involved in a small group so we can plug you in. And this is the last thing I'm asking you to remember, okay? Remember that Niagara Alliance Church isn't the building. <clears throat> Niagara Alliance Church is the people, right? It's not the building, it's the people. With this in mind, even though our facility is closed, our church will, re will remain very much alive and active in this community to the degree that we stay connected and care for one another and reach out to others. We will remain a church and active in this community to the degree that we, we live out the church, um, even though there's not a building there. Blessings. Um, hang in there. Thanks for your flexibility. And we will talk to you soon. Amen. Bye-bye.